Well, let's talk to Charlene Chen, who's head of international at Crane Shares. Uh, good to see you again, Charlene. So, uh, this cash injection, have they done enough? I, th I think the uh, the policymaker has heard the market. They they were looking for more uh, monetary support at the uh, Central Economic uh, Working uh, Conference held a few days ago, concluded a few days ago. Uh, but I sincerely think the liquidity provided by the policy bank is sufficient uh, for the systems. The question is not more money, if you ask me, it's more how we can make sure these credits uh, get rich to the, the hand of the corporates so they can start spending, they can start to expand, uh, they can uh, be more confident and comfortable of hiring more people, getting more job creation happens uh, uh, in the underlying market. And there's a, a next leg of effects when consumer uh, would feel more confident to spend more. Pumping this money in is going to be expensive though, isn't it? And China's going to issue bonds to pay for it. Correct. Um, they have expanded their physical budget this year uh, for a very long time. They didn't need to do that. Uh, and the one uh, trillion RMB is being issued per se this quarter to be ready uh, in the new year to spend. PBOC also alleged for another one trillion of RMB uh, to help the property sector. So you're really talking in trillions. I think in terms of liquidity, is sufficient. Uh, is uh, hopefully that gives investors the confidence, the reassurance they needed. The liquidity is uh, very rich in the system. So we've had some uh, positive economic news uh, too. Uh, industrial production and retail sales are both growing in November. This is very important. Uh, we need to see more confirmation in the coming months and quarter to make sure we now see uh, the effects, uh, the confidence injected to the corporate uh, industrial um, production is important. It's a key component of GDP. It's also a key component creating jobs. It's also a key component to show that China's long term wants to grow its economy to high tech, uh, move away from the low value chain of exports. All of these are very important. Retail sales to 10 percent. I take it. Uh, I think some of the market saying hey, is uh, lower than uh, our estimation, but I think 10 percent is very decent in the month of November leads up to seasonal of December, holiday, January, New Year, and February, Chinese New Year. I think this is a very good start point. Uh, obviously, we need to see more job creations, more settled of property sector, so on and so forth, before we see more of a, the comfortable of a double-digit pickup on retail sales, overall on the consumption, I say. Well, let's talk about that property sector, because we are still seeing some negativity there. New home prices falling, developers with debt problems. What effect mm -hmm. is this all having on the wider economy? Uh, if, if the wealth effect on household is visible, uh, people feel the mark to market their property is losing value. Uh, but that being said, I think we have gone through the worst time uh, of the property sector's consolidation. As one second, it's very clear they have uh, the government. The government has named 50 uh, good property developer that they can come and ask for fundings, carry on new projects. Uh, this is already uh, showing sign of. Uh, the, towards the end of the phases of consolidation as one. Second, it's also seasonal. Now it's December, it's approaching New Year, it's approaching New Year, Chinese New Year time. Uh, you wouldn't necessarily expect people to buy a new home at this point in time. And starting to look forward for a new home in between of this period of time. I think you will see some stabilization in terms of pricing uh, after we gone through winter time, uh, starting with New Year, uh, first, excuse me, first quarter of next year, you will see some pickups uh, in terms of buyers come to the market. Market. Shenzhen has reduced the second down payment if you are buying a second house. Um, uh, that first down payment for buying second house, uh, excuse me. And also now Beijing and Shanghai follow the same step to remove the restrictions or high down payment requirements for all those cities. They are doing everything they can in a measured way to allow more people to be able to get um, a new home themselves or get their first home. But you would see um, the new home pickup or sales pickup, I think, in the uh, first quarter next year or early next year, next year. Well, I'm going to ask you for another prediction for next year. What do you think we will see when it comes to policy? Do you think we'll see more easing uh, so that China can achieve next year's growth target? 
at the moment, everything is paved the way that you have the monetary policy, you have the physical spending uh, very clearly lay out the, uh, the, the path for China to sincerely focus on its economic growth. Uh, I don't think it's a problem for them to meet the 5% target this year, but going to next year is crucial for China to show uh, they are uh, at the very crucial point of turning or rebalance this economy to long-term sustainable uh, growth. Namely, we want to see policy that touch based on energy transitioning, green, uh, green economy, uh, long term in terms of how they're going to uh, become more innovative, self-sufficient um, in technology front, including AI, semiconductor, uh, and even smart EV. Some of the leading sectors they have already showed. And China also leading in the solar panel um, per se area. China's commitments in achieving a common goal is uh, number one in the world in terms of financial commitment, 500 billion every year commitments. So I think if policy could uh, uh, align along those lines of where the Chinese corporate has been advancing their capabilities in deliver the goals, and if they can provide uh, supportive policy in terms of tax, uh, even some other relaxations or help of the corporates on R&D front, I think you're going to see a huge pickup from uh, corporates in terms of more willing to mm -hmm. spend at higher Shannon Chen from Crane Shares, good to talk to you as always. Thank you for joining us on the program.